Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. We are setting up here at the Chicago Auto Pros awesome facility to use the dry ice machines and we'll demonstrate in this video here today. Dry ice is yet another method to safely and effectively clean undercarriages, engine compartments, and even interiors. We will be setting up two machines today, the Dry Ice Energy Champ Vario and also the Champ Turbo. Both of these machines plus more is on the carsuppliesWarehouse.com website. I'll put a link down below so you can look into it a bit further. In a nutshell, how these work is the units combine pressed air supply and dry ice to blow, freeze and blow off contaminants from undercarriages, engine compartments, and even interior materials. Uh, really, the only thing you want to look out for are really delicate materials and electrical tape. Also, vinyl and leather, something you would want to avoid. And uh, these units are pricey, so be prepared for that. You also need a dry ice supply. Just some quick safety precautions with dry ice. So dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide rips your air of oxygen. So we always want to be careful of how we transport and how we store dry ice. Most major cities will have a dry ice supplier similar to dry ice of Illinois, where they're willing to deliver these totes that allow the ice to stay for about five to seven days. And you can get anywhere from 200 to about 500 pounds of ice. 200 seems to be the magic number for detailers to have a delivery made on a Monday or a Tuesday and use the ice throughout the week, even having a little bit for the weekend. So as you can see, once we open the tote, it has a rubber strap here because the ice does not melt. And that's what's super special about dry ice. Dry ice does not turn to liquid. It evaporates into gas. If stored incorrectly, the gas can pressurize your vessel and you could end up with a little bit of a pop or an explosion. The other thing to be known, if we take a scoop of ice here and follow the way it's grabbing the humidity, we can see it drop down. The carbon dioxide is heavier on a molecular level, so we're going to have a lot more carbon dioxide on the floor. For a technician, if we're working on the inside of a car, we want everything to be open. We want to be as safe as we can. If we're transporting it in our car, we want to make sure that we're transporting it with the windows down. If you feel lightheaded or deprived of oxygen, you need to get out of the space that you're working because it goes lower. If you were to pass out from, from lack of oxygen, you're falling into less oxygen and you may or may not wake up, which is a bad day. Same thing with transporting the dry ice. We do not stop on the side of the road and take a nap with our windows up because it may be your last nap. Now, this has not happened to my knowledge yet in the United States, but we just want to be safe and sure. When it comes to dry ice, again, 200 pounds per week is about the consumption of a detail shop. Most dry ice suppliers around the United States are charging anywhere between 75 cents and $1.50 per pound, depending on what your consumption is. So if you're looking to get into dry ice, budget that accordingly. So let's demonstrate. We have the Honda S2000 here lifted and we'll work on the undercarriage. And it can clean any material under here from metal to plastic to aluminum, you name it. And it will blast off undercoating, um, any leaks that have uh, bonded with dirt and hardened and, and created this real nasty shell on your undercarriage parts. The dry ice can freeze and then any pass after that first pass will blast off the frozen particles and safely clean the material. Also safe and effective enough to remove old undercoating revealing the pristine metal underneath. Let's move over to the Suburban here. We have a, a dirty, crusty engine bay area, 
And we also have painted surfaces that can be cleaned safely and effectively with the dry ice system. We have a little bit of tar buildup right behind the tires. The tar has now been safely and effectively removed from the painted surface without damaging the paint. Again, this is by freezing the contaminant first, and then with the second and ensuing round of pellets, it knocks the contaminant free. It is now time for me to gear up. Protective gear is very important with dry ice systems. It's dirty. Uh, if you're working on an undercarriage, all that dirt has to end up somewhere. It's going to be on yourself and the floor. Protect your eyes, wear gloves maybe even coveralls. The process itself is easy but methodical. Just slowly move your arms back and forth, keeping the nozzle 8, 10 inches or even more away from the surface that you're cleaning. The smaller unit suited probably a little bit better for interiors and small, tight, hard to reach areas. Let's grab the big boy over here. Uh, yeah, settle down there, Hercules. By big beast, we mean the machine, not the person operating it. Obvious to see here, but this larger unit has higher volume, more pressure, and you need to hold the nozzle back a little bit further from the surface. Once we turn the ice on and we introduce the ice, all of a sudden the magic happens. We're going to turn the ice off to warm up the surface, and we have clean, almost restored plastic. So it is that quick, it is that easy. What I need to show you here is the warning. No pressure washer to be used under the hood of this vehicle and many out there that are similar. Um, where the dry ice machine comes into play, you can safely clean those areas. Sure, 
If you use a pressure washer, you'd be done in a fraction of the time, but it's not recommended under the hood of a lot of these vehicles. Here's a great 50-50 comparison, and you can simply finish up by adding a dressing or protectant to the plastics. My friends, I cover pros and cons on every tool and every product, and this has both. The pros, it's very efficient and safe in areas where moisture cannot be introduced. The cons, it's expensive, it's dirty, and you need to section off an area to use this tool.